Hello and welcome! Uh, my name is Mix Pooja Singh, you can call me Pooja. I'm so excited to be doing another homebody class with y'all. So please find a comfortable seat to begin. Feel free to sit up on a prop, a blanket, a block, a combination of props if you'd like. But just finding a seat that feels both comfortable and stable for you in this moment. And then you can close your eyes if you'd like, or just soften your gaze and take a moment to settle here. Allow your body to relax. Feel the ground beneath your seat. As you inhale, allow your spine to grow a little taller, crown of your head reaching up to the sky. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders away from your ears. And then let's take a few deep breaths together. Inhale, filling up, allowing your body to expand. And exhale, relaxing, softening, letting go. Inhale, feel the energizing quality of your breath, sitting taller. And exhale, let go, release. And one more time, take your time as you inhale, fill up, feel your body expand. And exhale, letting go. Take one more deep breath in, filling up as much as you can. Hold your breath at the top for a moment. Sip in a little more air. And sigh it out. And then start to wiggle your fingers and toes, allowing any subtle movements to come back to your body. And blink your eyes open if they were closed. Reach your arms up and overhead. Get even taller. And then slowly release your arms by your sides. And make a few circles with your shoulders. And go the opposite direction. Really starting to tune into your body, noticing how you're feeling in this moment. And then when you're ready, please make your way to hands and knees into a tabletop position. And spread your fingers wide. You could point your toes or tuck your toes. And then starting with some cow cats. So for your cow, looking up, lifting your tailbone, dropping your belly. And for your cat, pressing the ground away, doming your spine. Feel free to continue to move through these two positions, or if you'd like to move more organically, moving more freely, you can do that as well. So as you move, again, really pay attention to your body, pay attention to your breath. Notice how it feels to move in this moment. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on opening, expanding, becoming more of yourself. So as you move, try to take up a little bit more space. Try to become a little bit bigger. Even with your breath, try to take bigger, deeper breaths. And then start to make your way back to a neutral position. Tuck your toes and reach your hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Take a few moments here. You could pedal your feet, sway your hips, shake your head. And then reach your right leg up and back and move it around a little bit. 
and then step your right foot forward next to your right thumb drop your back knee to the earth and reach your arms up to the sky for Anjaneyasana on the right side you could relax your hips a little here again try to get bigger reach up a little taller lengthen your spine broaden your chest and release your hands back to the mat and make your way back to downward facing dog Adomukha take a deep breath here try to reach your sits bones up and back lengthen your spine and then reach your left leg up and back and move it around and then step your left foot forward next to your left thumb drop your back knee and reach your arms up for Anjaneyasana on the left side again you might soften your hips a little here opening up in a gentle way so no need to force yourself open but just let yourself expand take up a little more space be a little more of yourself and then release your hands and make your way back downward facing dog take another deep full breath here And then walk your feet forward to the front of your mat, coming to a forward fold, Uttanasana. Let your head hang heavy here. Maybe give your arms a little wiggle, sway your upper body. Feel free to bend your knees or straighten your legs as much as you'd like here. And then look halfway up, neutral spine roll your shoulders back reach the crown of your head forward and let go fold in press your feet down and with a slight bend in your knees reach your arms out and up coming to stand as tall as you can and release hands to heart for samasthiti deep breath in deep breath out Reach your arms out and up for Urdhva Hastasana. Fold forward for Uttanasana. Look halfway up, neutral spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Step back to a plank position, top of a push up, Palakasana. Press the ground away for a moment and then lower down, knees, chest, and chin, or Chaturanga. Then extend your body, lifting your chest, finding a back bend. You could be here in Bhujangasana, staying a little bit lower, Cobra, or lifting all the way up to Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana, upward facing dog. And then when you're ready, make your way back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Deep breath. Can you expand a little bit here? Can you get a little bit bigger? Can you spread your fingers a little wider? Can you spread your toes? Can you lengthen your spine? Then please release your knees to the ground for a few moments and find a child's pose. You could have your knees as close together or as far apart as you'd like. You could reach your arms forward or reach them back by your sides. Try to rest your forehead for a moment. Notice your breath. Can you let go a little more the next time you exhale?
Then when you're ready, please start to make your way back up to downward facing dog. Take another moment here to get a little bigger, to expand a little more, to take up a little more space. And then reach your right leg up and back and step your right foot forward between your hands this time. So somewhere around the center of your mat, then root your back heel in and down and start to straighten both legs as much as you can. Feel free to grab a block here, um, placing your hand either on the ground or on a block outside your right foot, and then start to reach your left arm up towards the sky, coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Press your feet firmly into the ground, pressing into the outer edges of your feet, lifting your inner arches. Reach forward through the crown of your head, lengthening your spine. And then reach your top arm forward, extending it over your head, turning your left pinky down towards the ground, but opening your left chest to the sky. And then release your left hand to the mat, lift your back heel, bend into your front knee, coming back to a lunge, step back to a plank position, and then either just press back to down dog or, or find your way back to down dog, making any other movements you'd like. Take your time finding your way to down dog, and when you arrive, take a couple more breaths here. Then reach your left leg up and back and step your left foot forward between your hands, root your back heel in and down and start to straighten both legs. Left hand outside your left foot. Again, feel free to use a block here underneath your left hand. Then reach your right arm up to the sky, coming into Trikonasana. Right fingertips reaching up to the sky outer edges of your feet pressing down as you lift your inner arches. Really energize your legs here. Reach out through the crown of your head, lengthening your spine. <clears throat> then reach your top arm forward overhead, turning your right pinky down towards the ground, but opening your right chest to the sky. Expand, get bigger, and then release your right hand. Bend into your front knee, come back to your lunge, make your way back to plank, and find your way back to down dog. Take a couple more breaths here. Spread your fingers even wider. Feel the connection of your body to the earth. Reach your sits bones a little higher to the sky, lengthening your spine. And then release your knees, finding a child's pose for a few breaths again. Can you let go? Even here, as you rest, can you expand into yourself a little bit more? Can you allow your breath to become a little bit bigger, taking up a little more space? Maybe rock your hips a little side to side or roll your forehead on the ground. And then when you're ready, please make your way onto your back. Just turning over. As you come onto your back, 
Please bend your knees, bringing the soles of your feet to the ground, knees pointing up to the sky. Press your feet down, lift your hips up. Really try to extend your spine here so you could tuck your tailbone a little bit, tuck your shoulders underneath you, reach the crown of your head back a little bit and then press the back of your skull into the ground. You could either press your hands into the ground or even turn your palms up to the sky. You could also interlace your hands behind your back. Wherever your hands land, try to tuck your shoulders underneath you even more. And again, continue to extend your spine. Try to create more space here. Breathe deeply. One more deep breath in, maybe get a little taller. And as you exhale, slowly release your spine, bringing your hips back to the ground. As you arrive, take another deep breath in and a deep breath out. Then please hug your right knee into your chest and extend your left leg long a twist here. If you'd like, you can scoot your hips a couple inches to the right and then move your right knee over to the left. Try to keep your shoulders rooted to the ground as much as you can here. Don't worry so much about your right knee getting towards the earth, but just notice your hips twisting the opposite direction as your rib cage. You could even encourage them kind of encouraging your ribs down towards the ground a little more and moving your hips towards the left. But again, please don't force anything. Allow your breath to help you expand into the twist. You could turn your head over to the right if you'd like a little more of a stretch on your neck. Breathe where you are. Notice your breath. And then slowly make your way back to center. Extend your right leg long and then hug your left knee in towards your chest. And again, if you'd like, scoot your hips a couple inches to the left, moving your left knee over to the right, twisting to your second side. You could either leave your head neutral, looking up towards the sky, to the ceiling, or you could twist your head to the left. Try to soften here. Allow your breath to help you move into the twist. No need to force yourself. Notice your breath. slowly make your way back to center. Hug both knees into your chest for a moment. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then release your feet back to the ground. And one more time, press your feet down and lift your hips up. Again, taking any of the arm variations, tucking your shoulders underneath you. Sometimes people say doing back bends like this is like taking a shot of espresso. It's a way to wake up, to energize ourselves. Take a couple more breaths here. Really try to take full, deep breaths, continuing to expand, creating more space. When you're ready, slowly lower your hips. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
And then please extend your legs long, pointing your toes. And then you're going to roll to one side and tuck one arm underneath you with your palm facing down. And then do the other, the same thing on the opposite side. So roll, tuck your hand underneath you. Try to straighten your arms as much as you can here. So we're going to set up for Matsyasana or fish pose. So once your hands are underneath you, palms on the ground, thumbs together, palms facing down, you're going to start to tuck your shoulders underneath you as much as you can. Keep reaching your toes forward. Press your hands down into the ground and try to slide your hands back towards your shoulders. And as you do that, reach your heels forward, bringing yourself up. As you come up, you can start to tuck your elbows closer together underneath you. And then you can drop your head back. Keep lifting your chest, rolling your shoulders back, reaching your toes forward, and take a few deep breaths here. Keep pressing your elbows down. Keep lifting your chest. When you're ready, slowly come out, bringing yourself back to the ground. Untuck your arms and release your legs. You can separate your feet about mat's width distance apart. Arms can be by your sides, about 6 to 12 inches away from your body. I like to have my palms facing up. And then you can gently close your eyes if that feels okay for you. If any of these cues are not super comfortable for you in this moment, please feel free to set up in your Shavasana in the most comfortable and supportive way. So feel free to use any props or, again, make any adjustments to that position. And once you arrive, please take a deep, full breath in and sigh it out. <sighs> Surrendering into this rest. Hare Krishna Hare 
Krishna, Krishna, Hari, Hari, Hari. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes, allowing any subtle movements to come back to your body. And then reach your arms up and overhead, taking a moment to stretch out. And then turn to one side, coming into a fetal position for a few breaths. Just resting on your side for a few moments. And when you're ready, please make your way back up to find a comfortable seat. Sitting nice and tall. taking up a little more space, breathing a little more fully, being a little bit more of yourself. And then please bring your palms together in front of your heart into Anjali Mudra. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today to do this practice, finding gratitude for your entire being, seen and unseen, physical and non-physical. Take a moment to acknowledge and honor the roots of the practices of yoga in South Asia, honoring the land and the culture that these traditions come from.
and take a moment to acknowledge and honor the traditional and ancestral land that you are currently on, honoring the original stewards of that land from the past, the present, and the future. And may this practice not only benefit us, but may it ripple out and benefit many, many others. Please exhale, emptying out all the stale air. Inhale, filling up as much as you can. And sigh it out. Again, inhale. Let it go. And one more inhale. And let it go. Please inhale for the universal sound of Om one time. Inhale, sitting a little taller, and exhale, gently bow your head towards your heart, and we'll close with peace prayers. Om Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samastha Sukhino bhavantu loka samasta sukhino bhavantu om shanti 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 om shri guru bhyo namaha hari om May all beings everywhere be free from unnecessary suffering and may they find peace and happiness. Om, peace, peace, peace. Bowing down to all gurus, all teachers everywhere. The divine within me sees and honors the divine within each of you. Hari Om Tatsat.